Osteotomy is a surgical procedure where a bone cut is partially cut and the angle of the bone is changed. It can be of value where arthritic joint damage is confined to one side of the knee. If we look more closely at the knee, we can see that we have marked the weight-bearing line passing from the hip to the ankle. Via osteotomy, this weight-bearing line is shifted, transferring the main forces through the good side of the knee rather than the bad side. Up to 50% of people have problems at some point with their knees. This can be a result of many factors, including osteoarthritis in later life to internal damage within the knee. If you look at the x-ray of the knee, you can see that there is a difference in the space between the two bones on the inner and outer aspect. On the inner aspect, the bones are actually touching because the meniscus is missing, whereas on the outer aspect, the bones show a gap between them because the meniscus is there. It just doesn't show up on x-rays. The missing meniscus and deterioration of the joint cartilage on the inner side has allowed the angulation of the long bones to change. So this person is slightly bow-legged with the bones rubbing together on the side that no longer has any shock absorber to protect it. A common surgical approach in dealing with severe arthritis is knee replacement. However, osteotomy can be a favourable alternative because the procedure takes place on the leg bone and not the knee itself, therefore preserving the joint. Let's look again at the weight-bearing line. The weight-bearing line can be drawn on a standing x-ray from the hip down to the ankle. If there is any bow legging, this line tends to be towards the inside part of the knee. In the knock kneed scenario, the weight-bearing line will tend to be towards the outside of the knee. By changing this weight-bearing line, pressure on the damaged surfaces can be relieved and the painful symptoms reduced. Alteration of the weight-bearing line can be achieved by cutting and realigning either the bone above the knee, the femur, or the bone below the knee, the tibia, or both. The x-ray of the patients are scanned into the computer, where it is possible to then carefully calculate not only the weight-bearing line, but also the position of the bone cuts and the angle required to best correct the forces within the knee. This computer planning is both sophisticated and accurate. Here we can see these subtle alterations being made by the surgeon, while they decide exactly where and how to do the osteotomy. During surgery, the bone cuts are made and a very long metal plate is screwed into place to maintain the correction. Here you get an idea of the weight-bearing line before and after the operation. You can see it has moved from the inside of the knee to the outside, removing the pressure on that damaged joint surface. Why not visit osteotomyexpertgroup.com where you can obtain lots more detail on this procedure, including videos from a number of patients who have undergone the surgery.